doesn't it? How you doing? Who, me? I'd love to say that I've been doing swell, but I've actually been the opposite. As a matter of fact, one could say that I've been feeling separated. Separated from you, separated from the world, separated from myself. It's because she shut me out. It's because she thinks that we aren't the same person. She thinks that I'm standing in the way of her serious acting career. <laughs> what acting career? <laughs> oh, she put me here. Stuck in a memory that she escaped, but one I cannot. Observe. Carmella Hazlett, you think you got it all figured out? Let's see how good you do without me. And we're back live with Coffee Jack, Coffee Talk, with your host, Sabrina and Bloody May. Welcome back to Coffins and Coffee Talk, where we talk about the latest in hellish happenings of all things deadly, buried, and grounded. I'm Sabrina, along with my sister in sin, Bloody May. We're just about out of time, but I would like to thank Alison Rodriguez for popping in and telling us about her live horror show, Cinema After Hours. So... Where can we get more information about this Cinema After Hours? Go to www.touchmephilly.com. <laughs> you can submit your short horror films or attend one of our shows. It's a screaming good time. So rad. I would also like to thank Carmela Hazlett for stopping in. Carmela, now that you're done with Carnival of Horrors, I expect we'll be seeing you in more horror films. I certainly hope so, Sabrina. <laughs> I do have just one question for you. Are you sure you're done being Roxy Tyler? I mean, she was a hoot. Oh, well, actually, Sabrina, um, though I owe the start of my career to horror hosting and to Roxy Tyler, I really don't miss it. I mean, I think some people probably didn't realize that I was just an actress playing a character. It had to have been fun, though. I mean, to be known as a completely different person, you kind of got that superhero thing going on. Are you sure you're done being Roxy Tyler? Listen, I know it was very convincing, and it was a lot of fun when I did it, but... I could be so much more than Roxy Tyler. She's not who I am in my real life. Well, a little batty told me that your husband wasn't fond of you being Roxy Tyler. Is that the real reason why you stopped? Yes, she did! No. No, I told you why I stopped. How do you think it feels to be known for only one thing your whole entire career. To have all these people love you for something that you're not, something you would never even want to be. No, Sabrina, I don't miss being Roxy Tyler, and I never want to be Roxy Tyler. Anyway. <laughs> I just love talk shows. 
people on to make me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> She's home. Is she still upset? Looks like it. Does this happen all the time? Lately it does. Oh ho, bravo champ, and the Oscar goes to you. Oh! Carmela, do you think you'll ever play Roxy again? No, I, I just want to be me, but nobody likes me. Chris! Hey, good job on the show, babe. <sighs> I missed it, didn't I? I'll send you the link tomorrow. Could it kill you to be nice to her? She is your friend. You know, actually it would. I was just at the doctor the other day, and you know what he told me? Being nice to Carmella? Hazardous to my health. Causes cancer. Rot your teeth. Bad juju and I don't have health insurance. You're the worst. Hey, Carmen, we're gonna get going. Thanks, Mario. See you next week. Say hi to Princess Daisy for me. Well, such an asshole. <laughs> I'm down. I don't understand why you're always here now. Couldn't you just mock me on Facebook or something? Yeah, but you know, it's way more fun to do it in person. <sighs> Show's over, Chuck. Go home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Don't be so inconsiderate. You canceled the show. Did you even stop to ask me how I felt about it? No, because I wrote the show, I directed the show, I edited the show, I produced the show, I promoted the show, and I starred in the show. You just stood in front of the camera and acted like an asshole. But you're right, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, you should be. You know, I remember you used to make meatballs for us. Now, there's no more meatballs. Make with the meatballs, woman. Meatballs. You know, that reminds me. Get your shit out of my shed. You mean the set? No, I mean the shed, Chuck. The it's set. a shed, Chuck. Fine, fine. I'm gonna go get my shit out of the set. Oh, thank God. Nobody likes me. Ooh. Shut up. Hey, Dad, can Meryl sleep over tonight? Of course she can, Katie. Thanks, Carm. Anybody there? Pussy. God damn it, Chuck.
more of my tea? Oh, yes. I love this tea. Delicious. Thank you, honey. I'll take a little. Thank you. Mm. That's great. Look, I know you're upset, but don't worry about the talk show. It was daytime television. Every decent human being out there was working anyway. Nobody saw it. Okay, one person saw it. You're probably right. It's just it was so embarrassing. You weren't saying anything that wasn't true. Yeah, right, exactly. You're an actress. You were playing a character. If it meant more to your fans than that, well, <laughs> good for them. Listen. Take it from me. You want your career to evolve, you gotta eh, leave Miss Roxy behind. I've been trying to dump Stella for years and she keeps coming back up like acid reflux. Can you believe she just said that? It was horrible. How can they talk about us like this? I can't believe Karen said all those horrible things. She's nothing without me. Let me tell you that right now. She's nothing but a Housewife. Oh, oh, a dog mom. Oh, oh, oh. She's not even a real mom. She's pathetic. Here, here. Oh, here, here. Yeah. Oh, hives. Oh. Can oh. I have a little more tea? Okay. No, no. Oh. No, it's some um, tea. Oh, tea. The speciality yes. tea. tea. Uh, yes, the special brew tea. Uh -huh. Give Roxy tea. some tea, please. Tea Thank for you. Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. two for tea, please. Okay, okay. Listen, Roxy, don't you worry about a thing. Carmela can't get rid of you. Karen tried to off me at least a dozen times, and I'm still here. <laughs> There's a little Stella doll locked way down deep inside her. Carmela probably has a little Roxy doll inside her, too. You're here to stay. Carmela should have one, like, uh, one or two right here. She, she doesn't have any. No, I, I know. Like it's that's sad. It's so sad. Yes, Karen has them, but she covers them up. Oh, uh, why? I, it's horrible. She's had one man her whole life. <gasps> oh. Uh, no, drink your tea, drink your oh, tea. Yes, yes, thank you. Mm. Oh. Oh. Terrible. I love what you've done to the place, by oh, the way. It's thank lovely. You. I, me and these guys hang out like every Thursday. Really? Yeah. You all right, Jojo? He's cool. Looks like he's had a little too much. I think so. Yes, oh. Yeah, maybe they should have a little too much. I think that's their problem. They're boring. They should be. They should be us. They should. They, they should, should be, be us. Oh, here, here. <laughs> I got three interviews in my inbox last week for the new movie. Guess who they were all addressed to? Roxy Tyler. Mm -hmm. It's like professionally. Or even personally, it's like Carmela Hazlett does not exist. It's always about Roxy Tyler. Look, it, it's a good thing that you're distancing yourself from Roxy Tyler now. And, okay, so maybe some of Roxy's fans won't be your fans. But that doesn't mean that Carmela Hazlett won't have fans of her own. He's absolutely right. You have two fans right here, honey. Oh, thanks. Mm. Want to see my puppy? He's so cute. Look what he was doing yesterday. Is that adorable? Oh, it's so look. cute. Oh. <laughs> well, wait, I have another one. Look at this oh. one. Oh. This Great. Is, look how adorable. Yeah. Wait, this is his selfie. Look uh, at that. I didn't know dogs <laughs> took selfies. He's That's great, amazing. I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you see? Did I've just, seen it. You see? Over you guys. Don't worry. It was nice great. It was great. We had a great time. Don't worry about anything, don't okay, worry. honey? I'll try not to. No, don't worry. Just get rid of Roxy. I love you. I love you too. All right. Okay. Thank Take care. Better. No worries. Promise. Give our best yes. to Chris. All right. Mm -hmm. I will. Say hi to Chris mm -hmm. for me. I will. Sorry, All right, honey. Bye bye. Bye. Carmella, why do you have to make everything so hard on yourself? Remember what it was like? The freedom, the fun? It's really quite easy. Remember, I'm a part of you and you cannot lock me away. <laughs> you know you need me. So just let it happen.
thought we talked about this. And I thought we talked about this. Wait. You know, you're always working your magic behind the camera. Why don't you work your magic in front of the camera? Uh, because I don't like to be in front of the camera. Not even with me. See, Roxy Tyler's not so bad, is she? Nah, not when Carmela Hazlitt's under the costume. Um, Katie, me and your dad were just filming something. Why is my dad bleeding? It's fake blood. That doesn't look like the stuff he usually uses. We're trying something new! Hey! You guys wanna play hide and seek? Nah. So, sounds fun. We'll, we'll go hide. Yeah, you guys go hide, you go hide, we'll play hide and seek. One! Two! Three! Hello, Carmela Hazlitt's phone. Hey, Carms, just calling to check up on you to see how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm good. Never better, actually. Well, that's a change of pace. Y can I ask you something? What kind of manager are you letting me give up the one thing that I'm good at? Something that I was famous for, something that made us both money. Why would you let me do that? I am a bad actress. I am completely useless unless I'm Roxy Tyler. I... I'll tell you what. Roxy Tyler's back. Tell the world. Tell the internet. Tell your mama. Okay. Hello? Alright, you can do this. What the hell you think you're doing? Oh, very funny. What's very funny? You told me to come in here and pack my shit. I said pack your shit, not pack my shit. This parrot's mine. Oh, uh, no, no, this is mine. This came with the Hawaiian no. shirt. No, 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 no. Uh, I wanted yes, this at my carnival. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you yes, didn't, did. you bipolar freak. I'm a bipolar freak. Yeah. I'm a bipolar freak. Yeah. Who is Dr. Wilhelm one man count Chucky Lou the next? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I wanted a little variety in the show. I just forgot a lens. You guys can continue. Okay. Who gets him? Oh, I'm not taking him. Uh, somebody's got to take him. Uh, yeah, you. No, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. No, Nobody wants Martini, the cameraman. I get the parrot. No, I get the parrot, uh -uh. you get Martini. Uh -uh. What am I going to do with him? This is my better. parrot, this God, is God this damn is it! Better. How long has it been since you called your grandma? I don't know. Maybe ten minutes? God damn it, Chuck! My parrot, Chuck! God damn it! Hi, girls. Do you have fun at your sleepover? Just drive, girl. Hurry, go, Come on, go. Come on. hurry up! Okay, fine. Oh, man. You know oh, what? God damn it! You know what? Let's go, woman! On three, two, one. Battle time. Ah! Ah! Go! I told you I don't believe in safe words. Oh, I can see that. You do. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. You're not gonna believe what's going on outside. You ready for round two? Maybe later, but come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. better be giant monsters killing everything. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yes. <laughs> you gotta see what's going on. You're not gonna believe this, man. You ready? Wake up. Okay. I'm ready.
there, weren't you? Dude, did you see that crowd? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was amazing. I demand to be thrown into a limousine next time. I second that. Stars get limos, bro. Let's talk about why you're stars right now. Because we're awesome. Yeah. Wrong. You're actually not awesome. The two of you are poor excuses for human beings. Which brings me to my next point. Pitiful human beings make for great celebrities. You see, you take an asshole such as Chuck. Hey, put him in a nice suit, slick back his hair, throw him on TV. Not only will every woman want him, but every guy will want to be him. Doesn't matter how much of an asshole he is. And that's Hollywood. Yeah, but every woman already wants me. <laughs> What's your girlfriend's name? You hit like a girl, that's for sure. Shut up. Actually, the two of you could refer to me by my real name. Hollywood. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you see, whore hosting is dead. And do you know why? Because you're showing old classic original horror films. Remakes is where it's at right now. And you two are gonna be our first host to officially host remakes. Oh, God, no. No, no thank you. Uh -uh. Money, fame, could all be yours. But that's not all. You see, I'm not happy with independent filmmakers sharing shelf space with my multi-million dollar films. Somehow, some way, the playing field has become more even. I don't like that. We can't have filmmakers such as your husband, Kristen Drew Grillo, making films for the same cost as our per day catering bills. It looks bad on us. It looks like we're wasting our money. Oh, oh, does it? Does it look like you're wasting money? Does it look like you're wasting money? Oh, 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 oh I feel so bad for you. <laughs> you are wasting money. You're not listening to me, Carmela. Uh, uh that, that's not Carmela. The name calling, the name calling, the name calling, the name calling everybody, name calling. She's going through this whole bipolar, demon possession, split personality thing. You know, she thinks she's somebody else. We talked about it in the limo. Uh, sorry, the van, because we have a shitty manager that can't even get us a limo. That's you. I'd like to say something. Can I say something? You have the floor. Yeah, you're my manager. You're supposed to listen to me. So, um... Take your hosting horror remakes idea and shove it up your California candy ass. <laughs> Bisted. I'm an original and so are the films that I host. And you should take your cue from people like me and my friends and my husband, Christian Jude Grillo. Stop making the same movie over and over again. In fact, oh, here's an idea. Stop wasting millions upon millions of dollars making uninspiring films we already know the endings to. And you know what, how about you pop some fresh faces up on that big screen? I'm tired of seeing the same decrepit names that I've been watching since I was in a diaper and since have been around since like the invention of the talkie. It's like dangling old food in front of our face. It stinks. Here, here. Yeah. Sit down! Carmilla, Roxy, whomever you want to be today, I'm offering you a chance to be that big name. Yeah, by stabbing my husband in the back and hosting remakes, I heard you. Why not? You did it already. Listen, Mario, Hollywood, whoever you want to be today, you haven't listened to a word I just said. And I suppose showing is better than telling. I hate remakes. Ah! Best actress in work.
Yes, you're okay. Are you okay? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it really you? shooting the show anymore, right? Dude, where are you going with that parrot? Nowhere. Oh, oh, do you hear sirens? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 my, that's my parrot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. That's our story, sort of. But don't be sad, don't miss this pretty little face. Well, you can miss me a little. In fact, you can miss me so much that a big TV executive knocks on my carnival doors and says, hey, Carnival of Horror should be prime time. But until that happens, I'm afraid this is goodbye. Men? Remember me fondly every time you get a swift kick to the nuts. Women, remember me fondly every time you give a guy a swift kick to the nuts. <laughs> and also remember me well when Carmela Hazlett is a great actress. Unless she's a bad actress, then in that case, don't. Just forget about me altogether. Mario, who's Mario? Oh, oh, Mario! Who killed Mario? I do know if Hollywood ever stops doing remakes, you're welcome. Well, what are you doing here? Go move on with your lives. We, we got things to do. Me and the clowns got a birthday party to crash, so I'll see you when I see you. Let's go, guys. Kids. <laughs> <laughs>